What is going on, you beautiful human being? We have a Q&A video today. We're going to sit down with Monkey and Axel, and we're going to answer some questions. So if you want to stick around, do that. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Let's get into it. <laughs> Are you trying to eat the questions? <laughs> what is going on? My name's Corinne. This is Axel. This is Monkey the Pug, Axel the Sheba. And we have some questions in one of the dog bowls. Uh, so we're gonna answer these today. So all of these questions I got from the YouTube videos that we've posted. Yas, if you're new here, welcome. Feel free to post your questions. Maybe we'll do another one of these. If you're returning, maybe one of your questions are in here. Okay, first question. Is your pug, monkey, a Trojan pug. Can you guys hear that? So much chaos. Monkey's drinking water over here. You can't see it, but Axel's rubbing himself over there. Axel, come here. Come here, bro. Thanks. Were you itchy? Were you itchy? Does that feel good? Yeah. Okay, so is your pug a tro Trojan pug? You are dripping all over me. <laughs> this is so <laughs> Oh my god. You got water all over these questions. I shouldn't have used. There, let me put this up here. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Is he a Trojan pug? No. Honestly, I don't even know if monkey's like a purebred pug. I basically got him from like kind of a rescue situation. There was an ad on Kijiji for a pug for like, I think it was two or three hundred dollars. And I went and I looked at him and once I got there, I knew right away I was going home with him. Like his nails were super overgrown. He didn't look like he was walking very well. So I was like, you know what? I'm taking him home with me. And that's how we got him. So I know nothing about like his uh, lineage or anything of the sort. My partner and I have joked that maybe he's actually part bulldog, <laughs> like the English style bulldog, because he's just so thick in the front. Um, so no, he's not a Trojan. Pup. All right, question number two. Why don't you guys come in the video? Come here, bring your toy. How will you eat this bowl? You want this one? Oh, you got your bowl. <laughs> oh no. And it's under the couch. You lost your bowl under the couch. Oh no. Here, here's another one. You're probably gonna lose this one too though. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is crazy. This is crazy. What do you think? Okay, question number two. Does your Sheba have hip dysplasia? Mine sits like that, so I'm just wondering. So this is from our video called 14 Week Old Sheba Inu Playing. And in that, he must have sat in a way that his hips were kind of, his legs were sprawled out. So this person's wondering if he has hip dysplasia. Well, Axel turns 10 in February. And so far, he does not have any symptoms of hip dysplasia. So to answer your question, no. No, he does not have hip dysplasia. No, you don't. All right, question numero three. Oh, I shouldn't have used like sticky paper. <laughs> uh, all right. What kind of treats are you using for training? So most of the time, I don't actually use any treats at all. I use their dog food, actually. And the reason I do that is because, well, with monkey, it doesn't actually matter what type 
of food I have, he's excited regardless. So using his dog food, for example, still works the same as if it's a high value treat. And then for Axel, he's not very food driven. Uh, so there's different methods and strategies that you can use for training. One is using like toys, one is using food, one is just using where you just basically give them affection. And this is all like positive reinforcement type treats, I guess you could call them. So I just use the dog food and I try to use other things with Axel, but he just really doesn't care about food that much. So yeah, no, we don't use any treats with our dog food. How many, how many of these can I lay on you before you shake them off? Next question. Oh, these are all stuck together. Oh, this one's more of a comment. This one says, monkey is adorable. I have plenty of tennis balls for him. So monkey's favorite toy is actually the tennis ball. He's obsessed. When somebody at the dog park is playing ball with their dog, I honestly sometimes have to leash Monkey up to get him to come with us because he just gets so fixated on the ball. So that's awesome that you have lots of tennis balls because it would definitely make Monkey very happy. Next question. Oh, more of a comment. This says, two of the best dog breeds in one video. You know what, I'm kind of biased, but I would have to agree. These are both pretty great dog breeds. Um, you know, the only thing is I think pugs deserve to have their own cryptocurrency called the like Puggle or something like that. Yeah, you need your own crypto. Please don't, please don't climb on me. Next question. Oh, these are so stuck together. Ooh, I got a nice chunky pug slobber splashed onto me. Okay, this question's from dog vlog number two. Why are they whimpering at the end? <laughs> so in that video, we had just come back from a dog walk and I'm like doing the closing, like saying goodbye to everybody. And Monkey's like whining in it. And the only thing I can really say is I think he was just still really excited. And yeah, didn't get a long enough walk, obviously, to be tired. He was just pumped. And it could have been close to dinner time too. Sometimes they know, um, so they will like be obnoxious for that. This question said, it's been a minute. <laughs> so in some of my videos, saying like, one, honestly once a year, more recently we've posted more. And in my one yearly videos, I would go, hey, it's been a minute. What's going on? So this person was just like a minute. Yeah, because a whole year is basically a minute, right? <laughs> you got another tennis ball? <laughs> All right. This question is from dog vlog four. Is that your Shiba dog that was posted eight years ago? He's so grown. Yes. So I want to say it would be about almost 10 years ago now. But my one of my first videos that I posted was of Axel as like a nine week old Shiba Inu puppy. So cute. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. It's our most viewed video. And basically, are you so excited? Um, basically we were teaching him some, like showing some of the tricks that he knew at that point. And then in that video, he learned how to shake a paw uh, within like a minute. So yes, same, same Shiba. He is so grown. It's crazy how fast they grow. It really is. Do you want me to throw your ball? Oh, 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 you got it back. Next question. 
Does anybody want to pitch in their experience with Shiba training slash raising, please? Man, this almost could be like, maybe I should just do a training video because I feel like this could be a really long winded answer. Um, hmm, I would say honestly, when it comes to training, it's really dog to dog. Some dogs as individuals are going to be more excited to train than others. Some will definitely be more food driven like monkey or toy driven like monkey, or just want like positive reinforcement through um, attention and play. And then other dogs might be good with all three of those. Some might only be good with one of those. So I think first and foremost, it's really dog to dog. And then Shiba Inus in general are known to be Chibi Inus in general are known to be one of the more difficult breeds to train. They're very similar to Huskies. People describe them as kind of having their own more independent, uh, more aloof. All of these things kind of makes them more difficult to train. With, I want to say the biggest tips that I would have is just make sure that you're taking the time to really play with their paws especially when they're young and they're babies. And as soon as you find out you're getting one, if you're getting one from a reputable, reputable breeder, which is what I would recommend, or if you're rescuing one, that can be kind of a different situation as well. But if you're getting one from a breeder and you know this is something that you plan to do, as soon as you arrange that, I would say you make weekly visits to that breeder and just do things like flip, flip your puppy upside down, play with their paws, play with their ears, like even their teeth, really get them desensitized to having you interact with their body and touch their body because Shivas are kind of known to be particular and they, they're known for something called the Shiba scream and they're more likely to do that if they haven't been introduced to that at a young age. So I would just say really, be take that leadership role and make sure that you're desensitizing them to things and then i mean yeah go through a training class like a puppy class because socialization is really important for shiba inus all dogs but shiba inus especially because they can be more aloof so being introduced to other puppies at a young age would be helpful yeah that's a really long answer and i honestly feel like that could be <laughs> its own video. So if you want that, let me know. Next question. Still got a few here. Okay. From what I've researched, female Shebas are more stubborn and independent, but I think if they bond well, um, they're more close to one person. I wanted to get one of these dogs for a while, but I'm not sure. How is your dog doing now? Uh, so Axel, like I said, is almost 10 years old. He is, he honestly is kind of stubborn. He is independent. I can have him off leash, which if you go and read and you've done research, so you probably know this. A lot of times people recommend not to have them off leash. And there's a couple different reasons for that, but because they kind of have a mind of their own, they will, they're known to kind of run off and not come back and not really listen very well. And Axel does actually fall into that sometimes. So we even have to be careful when we're letting him off leash. Um, I put him through something called doggy boot camp sometimes, which is basically when I'm like very strict with him for like a week to two weeks where we're going on something I call discipline walks and we're doing some training, um, doing some recall, and I, I try to do that like once a year, once every two years, just to kind of refresh him and remind him that I want him to behave in a certain way. So, but other than that, like he's, he's doing really well. Thanks for asking. Next question. Oh, okay. So this was asking about Monkey and Axel. Do they fight 
or are they friends? If you wanna go check us out on our other social media, you'll be able to see that they're actually quite bonded. They're quite close and it's quite adorable. So if you go to our TikTok, your feelings are neat or Reddit, your feelings are neat. Like Axel sometimes like bathe Monkey and it's quite cute. Monkey often wants to cuddle with Axel, but Axel isn't a big cuddler. Shiba Inus in general aren't known to be the bit oh no you've got a question stuck to your foot i'm sorry <laughs> i shouldn't have used the sticky ones hey i shouldn't have used the sticky ones uh yeah so sometimes actual will be i have pug snot all over my leg now <laughs> just because of that sneeze <laughs> He's just like, I love you. I just love you so much. I want to share. I want to share my snot with you. I I love you, buddy. You're cute. Uh, okay, so yes, they are definitely friends. I would go as far to say that they're brothers, even. They are brothers from another mother. They love each other. They're quite cute. Um, how old are they now? Monkey actually in, I like how I just checked like this is a watch. Yeah. <laughs> Monkey in I want to say like three or four days is turning eight years old. He was born in 2014. And then I think, oh, you're going to drip on me. No. <laughs> If you're type A, a pug is not for you. I'm telling you that right now. And like, I have a little bit of type A tendencies, but he grounds me, that's for sure. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, how old are you guys? I think Monkey was born in 2014 in November. And Axel's turn, so Axel's nine right now, turning 10 in February. Monkey's seven right now, turning eight in November. I can't believe that they're that old. It doesn't feel like it's been that long with them, to be honest. It really only kind of feels like three years. Can you post more videos? I miss them. Aw, that's really sweet. Thank you. We have been posting more videos, actually, and we post on TikTok as well, not always the same videos. We post on Reddit, both those are your feelings are neat. And we've been posting more on here. So if you've been liking that, like definitely give us feedback. This is definitely different from what I've been doing the past little bit where we were only posting once a year, which was, you know, very rare, but like shout out to the people who've been here since the one year videos, cause you're the real MVPs. <laughs> Last question. Did it take time for them to bond? Aw, that's a cute question. So this person's asking how long it took Monkey and Axel to bond. Axel, why don't you come here? I'll pet you. Why don't you come here? Ah. How long did it take for you to bond with Monkey? So, Axel was already like a year and a half when I got Monkey. And I got Monkey at eight weeks old. And at first, Axel wasn't sure what to think about him. Like he was, Monkey was so small. He maybe came up to like here on Axel. Um, and he loves to cuddle. So there was definitely like a transition period. But after, I want to say Monkey was around for three to four months, they were bonded and they were just as they are now, like just brothers from another mother. Axel's still not a huge fan of cuddling and Monkey will sometimes try, but then Axel will go like, <laughs> like don't cuddle me, um, which is just so heartbreaking, huh, Monkey? But they're good boys, they're good dogs. I'm really grateful for them. They've definitely helped me through a lot, they definitely force me um, to get up and take care of them because yeah, they rely on me and I'm their forever home. So 
I'm really grateful. And yeah, if you like this, feel free to subscribe, give a thumbs up. If you have questions, put them in the comments. Maybe we'll do another one of these in like a year or sooner, who knows? Depends how many people see this and if they like it, if they have questions. Well, that's it, boys. That's it. Yeah. Oh my God. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Axel just wants scratches and monkey. If he could like meld his body into me and we could be like conjoined twins, I honestly think he he would do that. I really think he would. Uh, yeah, and he pushed Axel out of the way. Gotta have that sibling rivalry, right? <laughs> okay. Peace. Wow.